Hello everyone, today I finished object video. As you have seen, last gambit hat that I knitted holding two fingering weight yarns together. Well, strands together. And to be more specific, single ply fingering weight yarn. information this is a knitting pattern but it, it is a paid for pattern this is one of, of my patterns so if you purchase it so you support me greatly so thank you so much for checking the links down below I'm just letting you know because you may not know there is a join button next to subscription button on YouTube but you can see it only on your computer this is like a monthly subscription where I offer annual discount codes to purchase my patterns on Reverly, so you can check it out. Also, one of those perks, that's kind of features of each level, is that every month I'm knitting an item and there is a giveaway going on on these channels for certain levels or up. So to know more about that, you will need to go on the computer, press that join thing and you will have information of that. Any questions, let me know. Last Gambit hat is a hat requires worsted or DK weight yarn. We have 20 stitches by 28 rounds. That's a gauge that we're looking for. So normally I get that gauge using DK weight yarn on US size seven, 4.5 millimeters. That means that I'm a loose knitter because a standard thing would be that I should have, I should get that gauge on the US size six, which is four millimeters. However, this is very personal stuff. I may be loose knitter now, but something may change my mood and I might go to that four millimeters to get that gauge. Also the content of the, of the yarn that you have. So either it's just merino or is it a silk mix with merino and maybe nylon or maybe it's acrylic yarn or is it something that, that it's a good to maybe knit at least one item with that yarn to have a glimpse, kind of experience how the certain blends behave in a certain way. Obviously, I've been knitting for a while. As you may see, this channel has been, I have this channel for over, oh, for over I think, five years now. Still, some blends, some yarns surprise me. Just saying. I don't cook in our house, although I can prepare meals, but some people say that even though if you follow a recipe, on the spot it may not show up the same way so either the ingredients or the cook change something so the same thing in knitting FYI <laughs> so now what needles I used for the brim I use US size 6 which is 4 millimeter needles and then for the body I went to US size 7 which is 4.5 millimeter needles like I said to obtain the gauge yeah but you can play with it. If you want to have it a little bit looser, you can even go your size higher. You can go even larger size. Just bear in mind that you will need a bit of yarn to knit this hat because it's a double brim and we have a few bubbles and it's in the shape of a beret, but not a typical beret construction. I always wanted to have a beret. And I love those photos, lovely ladies who have, who style their hair beautifully. I'm jealous, so I know I would wish, but I know it takes loads of effort and I probably would have to have a fringe or something like that. So, and I don't think I look good in a fringe. I'm just saying, maybe a photo, let me know. <laughs> Righty ho! Have I mentioned that I really like double brims and bubbles? That's why we have it over here. And I have a friend who loves berets and she told me to knit one and I'm struggling. Literally, I tried two and I frogged because for me, I don't know, on my head, it's like a big disc that kind of slides off my head and probably I have to put some pins on it. Second of all, it will not cover my ears and that's a purpose for me for a hat to keep me warm. Although, don't get me wrong, I love that aesthetics and I just admire and could watch many 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 photos with the beautiful hairstyles 
clothes styles, I think, fashion styles, but, but in my case, reality is just completely different. So I told you about the needles, I told you about the gauge, I told you what kind of yarn you would need, but the question is, as I told you, I did not use worsted weight, I hold fingering double. And because I got this yarn as a gift from a friend, they were her leftovers, so, but very generous ones, I bet you they were over 50 grams each, ish. Um, so I have a footage before I knitted this hat to show you over here, something I took on my mobile, so you can have a glimpse. I had a bit of leftovers after knitting this hat and here it is another one so I finish uh, this hat on the screen and you can see a lovely video I would encourage you to watch that one after this one so I can say that I use it all and I don't have any bits left <laughs> therefore I'll take it off to show you what kind of strand is single ply yarn hopefully you'll be able to see it there are two colors actually I think three over here so you could see I've I know I look way better wearing a hat, but yeah. So with the colors, I had, I think, some kind of gray one and I mixed it with the purple one. And then I think I went with the purple and adding some other blue color over here. And then we went to the blue and I was just holding the blue by itself. I think that's how it went. As you can see, we have over here a double brim. We have bubbles, barber's bubbles. So on the screen so check it out if you want to you don't have to turn your work to make those and we have five points of the crease and the beautiful pom-pom I feel better wearing a hat it's kind of reminds me of maybe 30s of a kind of school vibe obviously I mentioned that this movie the Queen's Gambit kind of inspired me with this photo to um, design one on the screen this one so maybe check it out it's my original one red one oh, it's a beautiful beautiful drape of yarn over that we're mixing merino silk and alpaca so it gives a drape over here oh, i did not have labels so i presume it's just maybe merino single merinos if i could guess in regards bubbles there is a tutorial um i'm showing it on my on my vintage gate socks when if you forget to insert a bubble you can do it afterwards when you finish so check it on the screen in the eye over here um so don't be afraid i'm thinking of recording of making the tutorial just in case you place a bubble in the wrong place and how to kind of rid out that bubble so keep finger crossed i'll do it because you may not know but i made a boob in the red one but i took a photo of the way that you don't know but i was thinking to do that so I'm thinking to maybe record a new video, <laughs> a new tutorial. As I said, I love it so much. You can check the links down below. I feel like in this at school vibe or maybe vintage ones, it looks so cute in the back. I can't recognize myself when I <laughs> check the photos. So I know everyone will look amazing in this hat. Uh, oh yeah, and the pom-pom is a 3.5 inches. I think that's seven, for sure seven centimeters pom-pom maker in case you're looking for one. I would love to say longer but I have another video to record of uh, this hat but in orange version so subscribe like for more knitting and and sometimes crocheting inspirations. Check all these things down below, click all the, thi all the things down below and see you in the next one. Bye!